hero questions. Uh, I am Caitlin, as she mentioned, but I play Mina Ashido in My Hero Academia. Yay!
lot. I like when they had the sports tournament. Was that season two or three? One, I don't even know. <laughs> Whatever that was, uh, that was really exciting and fun time to be working on the show. Uh, so I like the sports tournament part. Come on up, Banana. You're the star of this convention. Everyone, star. Be sure to come line up and get your autographs. It is I, All Might, and I am here to ask you one question. Um, what was your reaction to when um, Midoriya turned into a vigilante? Uh, I was very surprised to hear that because he seems like the last person to do such a thing. Uh, but uh, I'm glad we managed to bring him back from the brink. And I just thought it was kind of, I don't, I don't know, I guess the, there's an arc in every shonen story, right? Like the lead goes dark for a time, and uh, even young Midoriya. So I'm glad he got his, his time to do something different, but it's time to come back. To, we have class. We have class, Midoriya. <laughs> Thank you. Hey. Boo. <laughs> <laughs> Is your <laughs> hey, Eric's here. Wait, what? Hey, Eric. I'm here. For real. Eric Taylor. Hey, uh, We're just doing the question thing, so, you know, join in on Thank there. you for waiting on me. They told me to go. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't been going very long. Okay. Bakugo. <laughs> yeah, I picked Bakugo before, so now she's, she wants me to pick someone else. Oh. Yeah. That sounds like you're going to have to lock. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Um, I like All Might? <laughs> okay. I don't know. Bakugo's my answer. I like Deku. Pull it off, Miss. What's your favorite line from Britain? Oh man, it's hard to remember that because we recorded them a very long time ago. Uh, now I did do those live actions very recently. Edward, if you don't drink your milk, you're always going to be the size of a bean! <laughs> I do, I think about it. I'm not sure what you're Hi!
think those two people should really hook up. <laughs> I'll have that happen. When I watch something, my brain shuts down. I'm like a drooling uh, fool for an hour, and then I go back to life. <laughs> so that's why it's uh, yeah, I think technically the company line is I'm not supposed to answer that question. They don't like us to, to do that. That's fair. But I think we can support, I do fully support, like, not my character, but, like, if Midoriya and Ochako could just get on with it, please. Yeah, that really would be great. Come on, children. Mine would always be to, to manifest immediately any meal I've ever had. That's cool. I like that. But yeah, but that would just like the what are we going to eat tonight work. Like, what would so be the same thing? Yeah, that is the same. Yeah. Mm, how about I would like the quirk to always have, be at a comfortable body temperature. I'd never be uncomfortable. Oh, that would be fine. Yeah, but never hot or cold. That's yeah. All right. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks, man. Hi. Hi. Um, this is for Katie. Okay. Um, based off of um, our hands in Mosco, um, if what type of host do you think the my hair would be? What sort of oh so like what type of host? Do you like how he's the natural yeah. and how much he's the prince. Hmm. Kyoya is most Kyoya cool. Right? Nobody's cool in my head. Just kidding. Toby is cool sometimes. Ah, ah, where is it? No. Get out. Oh, yeah. Um, so, I, I guess Midoriya would be like, like the Haruhi, like the natural type. He's a little bit of derpy and goofy, but that's charming, right? Because he's naturally that. Um, super duper cute. Not Bakugo. <laughs> Nor is he princely. So he's like Mori Senpai, like a strong silent type. <laughs> um, who is obnoxious? Mineta. Yeah. <laughs> um, so he'd be one of the twins. And <laughs> there's no real like him though. I don't know, what do you think? Who do you what are, what's a host? Are you gonna name a host? No, no, God, no. <laughs> no, see, 
No, don't accept DMs, no personal messages. No, the internet's a bad place. You all have to get out there. We don't accept them and neither should you. That's right. <laughs> Well, anyways, uh, keep up the good work, yeah. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Appreciate it. Who do you think is the most powerful yeah. character in yeah. AJ? Probably him. Yeah. <laughs> John the Shiraki. Oh, he's got to be dangerous. Yeah. Or, I mean, not, not a force for good, but he's a force. Last season, something happened, and he ended up going bald in one shot and had all of his hair back in the next shot. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs>
and I just encourage you to not let that face you and your love of the show, the character, and your expressions thereof. That person needs to work out some stuff on their own. <laughs> and if you know they, if they make you feel bad, then don't be around them. Get out of that situation as soon as possible. Yeah. Just love the stuff you love and be proud of it. All right, thank you. Yeah.
Yeah, being unbiased with your something or others. That one. Hilarious. Listen to everybody laughing. Yeah. Calm down, guys. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Hello. Uh, Hi. This is a little tricky. Okay, so I know Haruki has like a lot of really funny interaction with all the hosts. Um, which one is your favorite to do scenes with? Which ones? Oh, I love Haruki's interactions with Kyoya. Kyoya is my favorite host and um, Probably my favorite episode with him is in the shopping mall in episode 17. Mm -hmm. We go around the mall together. Uh, I, I just, I love Kyoya. <laughs> That's the answer. Thank you. <laughs> we have two questions for you. Okay. What, what is the uh, anime's book you cosplay as? Okay, I have cosplayed as Winry from Full Metal Alchemist. And Haruhi from Oron, and I think that's all. Yeah. I have never cosplayed. Good. What is your other question? Then which one was your favorite? My favorite probably <laughs> was Haruhi because. When I cosplayed as her, it was in 2008, and the dub was still very new. And I was I dressed in her costume from the salon in like the final episode, so like white tail coat and all that. And nobody knew that I was the voice actor, so I was getting stopped just because of the costume. Like people knew how to be, and I thought that that was pretty cool. And they wouldn't have recognized the voice if I did it then because it was too new. So. It was, it was cool. I'm like, oh, I understand. I get why this is fun for cosplayers. Uh, hello. Hi. Uh, what? The stuff about your academia, what's your favorite and least favorite movies? To have been in? Mm, no, just, uh, just in general. Watched. Anime you like or don't like? Um, or both. Well, I grew up on older ones like Star Blazers, which always will be special to me. Um, there's an old anime from the early 90s called Bao. B-A-O. Oh, right? Oh, somebody knows it. Okay. Yeah, B-A-O-H, I think is how it's called. I never even saw English subtitles. I don't even know what the story, the, I don't know what the narrative is. I just watched it in Japanese back in 92, wow. repeatedly. Wow. And it was cool, okay. Um, let's see, favorite anime, like, ever, ever. I really love a show called Honey and Clover, which is from the early 2000s. That's my favorite anime, but also Sailor Moon. That's my favorite one from youth. I don't really have a least favorite, because if I don't like it, I stop watching it. Like, why? That's how <laughs> that media works. Just turn it off. <laughs> so, yeah. Thank you. Thanks. Hello, sir. Um, Excuse me. Sorry about that. It's okay. I'm okay. curious if you like Jack and Mule from Little Pig. I'm curious why do I they want to be a voice actor? Why do you oh. want to be a voice actor? Well, like thank you very much. Um, I wanted to be any kind of actor. It didn't matter where I ended up. I just happened to end up in voice acting. And it's been a lot of fun. As long as I get to pretend to be somebody else a lot, I'm happy. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, my answer is the same, unless that question was just for <laughs> Hi. Hi. What's your guys' favorite lines to say, and can you say them? From MHA? Yeah, from MHA. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess it's this new one from the last episode, and all my has like stopped by the door, so then he's leaving, and Mina's like, dude, you're bouncing already? Like, how do you say that to your teacher? I think that's so funny. Dude, I, I changed it to that. The line didn't fit. Yeah. And Colleen wanted to put hey at the beginning. I'm like, no, 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 no. This is Mina. Dude. So, dude, can we say dude? Uh, anytime I get to alter her lines and we throw in slang, we don't normally do that in, in anime because we want things to seem a little more timeless but there's something about Mina's character that really lends itself well to that, so she's got to say really fun stuff like bougie and uh, just 
<laughs> so anytime I can drop in an extra little thing like that, I will. Not that do is like, it isn't, but. Dude, you're bouncing already? I like it, yeah. Uh, you're so cool, you raise your hand. <laughs> I think he's got a crush on <laughs> Get in line. Everybody's like drawing the fan art, right? The fan art. <laughs> And also, like, yells a lot. 
like orange, <laughs> if you couldn't tell. Gray is my favorite color. So yeah, so I think I'd like to be some some flavor of orange color. <coughs> what happens? You're just that color. It's like Romina is just pink. She's got pink hair, pink skin. What color? Clear. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, clear. yeah, yeah, it would be like that suit that guy wore in those seventies shows about anatomy. Yes. You, know, you can see all my guts and everything. Yeah, yeah. I do, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Sure. I have a question for both of you and the So, what's your least favorite uh, voice line? I don't remember that. Seriously, like, what if if Eric and I were in a play or in a film, we would take our scripts home and study them and memorize our lines. But then, even after memorizing them and doing the work. We promptly like just kind of throw it away. Don't remember it. And for voice acting, we aren't given our scripts ahead of time. We learn what we're going to say seconds before we are going to say it, which is so we really don't remember anything. Oftentimes, you guys remember it because you've watched the show and watched the show and watched the show. So if you come up and say, "Can you say a line?" I'm like, "Tell me what to say," and I will say it in the voice. <laughs> so I don't. I can barely remember the lines that I do like. I really don't remember the ones that I didn't like. Yeah. Unless it is something like it was really hard to record and you had to say it like 12 million times before you could get it right. Then you'll remember those. But we're so perfect, we don't have any. Yeah. <laughs> Unless they really needed him to, to like 
save some important thing. Like, go touch that person that we know is trying to assassinate so and so. Like, then it would have to be like, um, the, f the five finger hero or something. <laughs> 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 Okay. Oh, okay. All right. So it's not just living things. Okay, so still five fingers. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> just call them five fingers. You know, it's, it sounds like a poker player. Yeah. Okay. Same quirk and everything. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Three. There you go. Sure. Hi. Hi. This one's for Caitlin. Sure. Um, if you were given any miraculous, which one would you like to be given? If I was given a what's it? A miraculous. Okay. Help me out. What is that? From Miraculous Ladybug? From, I still don't know. Like, I know what Miraculous Ladybug is, but I don't I know what it is. I thought you were a character. I am not. I wish. <laughs> Tell them. Hey, Caitlin should be in that show. She should, yes. Does your daughter watch it? Nah, uh, sort of. It looks so cute. This is for both of you. Yeah. Um, so, uh, it's kind of like two questions. Um, did you start writing the manga before you uh, auditioned? Uh, to become the character's manager, or did you just like be like, I'm just want to go with this? I have I don't read the manga of any show I work on. Uh, I I just don't have the time. It would require me to read a whole bunch of stuff in my free time when I still have I will have scripts to read when I get into the studio anyway. So I wait until I'm there and then learn and perform. Yeah. Same. Uh, we could read the manga if we wanted. You could think of it as like part of character research or whatever. But to be frank, we're not paid for that. Uh, I'm, I'm, it's the truth. I think uh, we should be paid. if we were in a play or on screen in a film, that would be part of what is expected of us. Do a lot of text work and character work um, behind the scenes. But part of what we do is show up, and the given circumstances are given to us in that moment, and we. Perform it. That's what makes what we do so special and different. So, yeah. but I do read manga for fun. What kind of manga do you read? Um, let's see. I like shoujo manga a lot, but um, I also read a ton of webtoons. And um, I really, right now, I really love solo leveling. And yeah. This is a more general question. And it's, um, what sort of techniques do you as voice actors use to differentiate between the different characters that you play? Thank you. Yeah, your cosplay's great. Um, <laughs> huh? Techniques. So we have what are called reference lines. Stuff, when we first came up with the voice for the character, we were recording them for the first time. The director will choose some choice lines from that first episode to be our reference. So every time we come in, we can ask for that reference to remind us about subtle things that we may or may not have done with the character. And that's great um, when you're, you know, sometimes we could be in a show that lasts for years and years and years, but not a lot of time is actually passed in the course of the story for the characters. So it's nice to remember, I'm supposed to sound like this, I'm supposed to sound like this. So the main technique is having that reference uh, on hand to help you out, which I imagine is, um, useful when, when, for someone like Eric who goes from booth to booth. He'll come in and he'll be Shigaraki and then he'll go next door and be Sanji and then come next door and be like Yuki or something. Yeah, it's very helpful. Yeah, that's what I do. All right, so we only have a few minutes left, so we will take lightning round to finish everyone's questions, okay? So when you all get up to the microphone, let's go. Spit it out. We'll try to answer quickly too. All right. Uh, two questions. Uh, you voice Sanji? Yes. I'm sorry. Yes, I do. <laughs> could you could you say um, who ate all the meat in Sanji's voice? Who ate all the meat? <laughs> I love it. Hi, I have two questions. One is general for both of you, and then one for each of you. The first sure. question is, if you were to sleep in any of the class one eight rooms, which one would you choose? And then the one for you, Eric. Is um, what's your favorite part of Sanji's character development or like backstory? And for you, what's your favorite part of Haruki's backstory character development? 
Okay, I would not want to sleep in a classroom. That sounds awful. I'm with Caitlin on this. <laughs> <laughs> Lock-ins are stupid. <laughs> but if it was the class when they bedrooms, you know, oh, they the have dorms. dorms. The yeah. dorms. Everyone's dorms. Uh, the one, who's the guy who, who bakes? Sato. Yeah, I want to sleep in Sato's room with all the cakes and cookies. No, no dorms, nothing. I, I can't do that. I did that before, I can't do that anymore. <laughs> Backstory, favorite parts of Hanabi's backstory, San Sanji, Sanji's backstory, favorite aspects. I love her relationship with her dad, uh, I think that's really special and cool and he's such a weirdo and she just embraces that and doesn't care and I think that's a wonderful representation of how we are or should be in our family and relationships. Uh, similarly, I thought that Sanji finding family with people he's not blood related to was really cool. Oh, good answer. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> that was nice. Uh, so, Mina Ashido is a very energetic, regular woman. Um, she has an especially distinct appearance in my year of academia with uh, distinct skin tone and hair color. Uh, before the anime actually originally came out, many people thought that she was uh, Hafu or second, where she was uh, 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 POC in Japanese. Mm. And um, I don't know if you know this, but a lot of the reasoning to knock down this theory that you know she has, uh, she's not just solely another Japanese, uh, she's not just solely Japanese by uh, ethnicity, uh, was that her voice actor was white. Um, do you feel like that gives any credence to who should identify with this character? I didn't know anything about that whatsoever when I was cast. And I think I believe very strongly in representation and voice acting. I have a pretty strong track record for the way I cast the shows that I direct because of that. Um, and I'm sure that if we had some kind of concrete evidence of that, meaning the mangaka said this character is this, that we would have followed um, that example. But without that, um, a director, and I'm not the director of my hero, so I can't speak to that, can only just do their best. And a lot of the time, because of the way simul does work, we only have the information that we have. And you maybe think that that's a lot, and most of the time it's not. We're like flying by the seat of our pants trying to make this thing work. So, but as far as who can identify whatever character, I think what's important about My Hero Academia is that it shows anybody can be a hero, anyone. And what's so wonderful about everyone's quirks and the variety of them is that it gives a character for every person to identify with. And who cares what they look like? And who cares what their quirk is? And that's how it should be in real life, too. It's wonderful to look up to people who look like you and have the same background as you, but that doesn't mean that you can't look up to and be inspired by someone who is a 180 from you. In fact, if we were all more purposeful in looking for role models like that, I think we'd be a much more fair and balanced and loving society. It's not a lightning round answer. <laughs> So this is a question for um, Eric. If Shigaraki had like not killed his parents or like his parents had survived <laughs> somehow miraculously or if he had some sort of dream about them, how do you think he would react? He would kill them. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. This is less of a question about my hair academia and more about like voice acting. So I want to know like what how did you get into voice acting? Like was it easy and also like how did you practice getting good at getting the skills? Eric it was super easy, barely an inconvenience. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that's just for us. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. Um, Eric hired me, it was easy. Um, <laughs> Eric did hire me. Um, how do we practice? That's a that's a good what? Everyone's path to becoming a voice actor is totally different. So for some people, it's going to be like, it was extremely hard. And for others, it's like, it was so simple. But practice, that's a different something, I can answer. 
the, I, if, if, if you want to be a voice actor, you just you have to learn acting. So practicing would be on stage in a theater, or uh, practicing if you don't have that venue available to you. Practicing at home could be as simple as reading, reading, um, sorry, reading books out loud or plays out loud, and really getting to know how your body does that. Yep. Sorry, we're just trying to get through the rest of the well, line. They keep, they're holding up a sign that says oh. zero minutes and it looks like somebody can fall over. <laughs> Is there another one that starts right now? No, 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 no. Okay, well that's clear. Okay, so lightning round was finished. Blue here, your last one. Last one. Okay, go. Right. Oh, hi, I'm back again. Hi. Yeah. And who is your favorite? Who was your favorite other actor you went um, or in high school? Eric Bale. He's the cheap tough guy. Thank you guys. Thanks for hanging out so long.